as you may or may not know, when older patients fall, they are at a high risk for, for a fracture, broken hip, broken wrist, broken back. And so there's a very simple assessment tool to see if somebody's at risk for having a fall. And it's called a sit to stand test. Uh, we all know older patients uh, or have seen older patients that cannot get up from a chair without pushing up using their arms. Uh, and they're unable to do it. Uh, and so a simple test is ha using a standard chair, have the patient put two hands across their chest, and anybody can do this at home, and ask them to stand up without pushing up or using their arms. If they're unable to do that, or if they have to significantly rock to try to be able to do that, that tells us that they've got weak quadriceps or thigh muscles. And if you have a stumble and a fall, those are the same muscles that are required to catch, clinch and catch you from falling. And so it's a very simple, very easy assessment to tell if somebody's at risk for falling. If they're unable to get up from a sit to stand position without using their arms, studies show that within the next two months, they are at a greater than 50% risk of having a major fall. Um, and, it's, and it's something that if they cannot do it, they probably should be using an ambulatory aid. They probably should be seeing their medical doctor or an orthopedic surgeon for potential referral to physical therapy to try to strengthen those thigh muscles. Uh, a very simple way to do that is to use a, perhaps a taller chair initially, and I tell patients do 10 in a row with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and that'll keep you from falling.